Coronary arteries are blood vessels that take blood and oxygen to the heart muscle itself. If the blockages are very extensive, involve a lot of areas in the circulation, people may get chest discomfort, chest pains, shortness of breath. My name is Dr. Murat Tuzcu. I'm an interventional cardiologist. I'm the chairman of cardiovascular medicine at the uh, uh, Cleveland Clinic Abu Dhabi. I'm also the chief academic officer. Here I'm very fortunate to work with four other interventional cardiologists. Patients should be evaluated carefully. We may choose one of three ways. One, we may treat the patient by medicines and lifestyle changes. Number two, we may choose uh, to treat the blockages with stents, or if the blockages are very extensive, involve a lot of areas in the circulation, we may choose to perform bypass surgery. If we choose stents, we call that type of treatment PCI, that stands for percutaneous coronary intervention, meaning that we don't make a cut, but work through tiny holes from groin or the wrist and advance a tiny catheter to take pictures of the blood vessels supplying the heart and identify the problem areas. Right here, you see the blood vessel is narrowed by the fatty buildup in the wall. In order to treat this narrowing, we thread a tiny wire across it. Over this wire, we advance a long balloon and place it right across the narrowing. Inflate the balloon that expands the artery. We take the balloon out and we advance a stent mounted on a balloon into the opening right across the obstruction. Inflate the balloon, expand the stent. Then we deflate the balloon, take the balloon and the wire out. Now we are left with an expanded opened narrow. Patient is transferred from the cath lab to the ward and rests the remaining hours of the day. And the next day, we check the patient's access site. We check the blood work. We check the EKG, and if everything is okay, most of the time we're able to send the patient home. After going home, we make sure that they take some of the medications very, very religiously, but they will be able to resume their daily activities very shortly. It's critically important. Patient adheres to a healthy diet, regular exercise, maintain an ideal body weight, and takes this medication. Most will agree that the heart disease is probably the most threatening disease that we know of. It doesn't only kill, uh, it also uh, leaves you incapacitated or very limited. That's why I think that the early detection and treatment of heart disease is critically important. We don't want people to have heart attacks. We don't want to, people to have sudden death. So if they have any symptoms, they should uh, seek medical attention. <laughs>